Hello all, uh, more Arch Linux madness for you. Uh, a friend of mine asked me to look at the uh, project for Arch Linux uh, Pantheon, which is like the elementary OS shell and desktop environment. Um, start off by saying that uh, there's some things that just simply don't work and they're broken, but you can get it running uh, with a lot of trial and error. And it, the repository is pretty much updated daily. So with that said, uh, here I am in the terminal again as my user. So Arch Linux is already installed and set up the way I want to. Uh, so if you want to proceed with this, you have to add uh, the repository to your Pac-Man configuration file. Uh, so I already have that, but I haven't commented out. So I'll just do a sudo pacman, uh, sudo nano, uh, then uh, etsy pacman.config and we'll down to repositories and you see here I have them commented out it's a pantheon so I'll just delete these pound signs and I'll save and exit and I'll resync, uh, resync the mirrors and I'll upload that it's already uploaded but I'll just give you a link to where the uh, you can add that uh, Pantheon repository and as you can see it just synced uh, partly going from the Arch Linux wiki and partly from just guesswork uh, I proceed, proceeded to install uh, pseudo pacman dash capital S and the whole group so Pantheon and uh, the trick here is, uh, from what I gather, is anything, the mixed environment, so audience, for example, uh, you don't want to install that because it's not BZR. Uh, those are the mo more up-to-date and considered unstable, but they're the most up-to-date. So the only thing really here is uh, option 4, slingshot launcher. Then you have to build from that. So just select option 4 and uh, it pulls down quite a bit you see lots of known GNOME stuff and so on dconf I'm not sure about the editor but uh, just stick to the BZ BZR uh, files and it should be a little easier not all of them all of these are BZR BZR as you can see here so uh, 55 makes the download and 330 almost to once installed. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so we just basically have the launcher panel. I don't even think we have the uh, plank installed. And I did run into a problem with LightDM. It just doesn't seem to work. And maybe it's a virtual box thing. It does mention to remove a PAM file, but it's not there. So there's nothing to remove. <laughs> so just it's this is just so very exper experimental and uh you know trial and error as i mentioned so uh the only thing that not the only but the one that seemed to work or seemed to flow was uh for a login manager because the x in it rc file is uh, pretty complex to type in there's a lot of stuff so i'll just get uh, gdm the gnome login manager and see it pulls down a whole bunch of other stuff but it should, uh, it usually works after you install uh, Pantheon Session, which is tricky to set up as well. So I'll let this download and install. Okay, uh, GNOME Control Center will not work uh, because it's the updated version, the version 1.6. Uh, it's looking for version 1.2 and you can't, I haven't really tried to find it, but I'm just trying to keep this so you can actually run this. Uh, desktop. So we'll just enable sudo uh, uh, system ctl enable gdm. There it goes. Okay. And it's going to do reboot. I highly doubt, uh, that might be a mistake, but I highly doubt that we'll have a desktop because I have no session. But we can try. Alright. So here we are at the login screen. And yeah, there's no, there's nothing here. So we'll just uh, cancel, and I'm not sure we Alt F2, and just log in as a user, 
and just uh, disable that service for now. So as you see, it's lots of uh, trial and error, GDM, and reboots. Okay, uh, with any luck, we can do a search. Pac-Man dash couple that's small less uh, Pantheon uh, dash session, I believe. All right, here's the tricky part. Uh, we'll put the tack on the B Z R, and here we go. Cannot resolve all these different uh, <laughs> settings and this I do. IDO dependency of wing panel uh, so you have to skip this well say uh, no but uh, it won't it won't build anyway uh, so you have to go through and try to get these through probably the user repository and eventually you can get the fancy on session to run all right I tried it again I installed the Unico uh, engine engine from Yellert that you saw earlier in the screen. I'll try to keep track of this. Um, so let's do a search for the wing panel. I believe it's the bottom one. Uh, so it's wing panel dash re right dash x11 dash bz bzr Okay, make sure I have the right one. We'll see if that'll build. I'm not sure. It does. Okay. And let's try our uh, command again to see if we can get... Uh... Ah, there we go. So it was two dependencies. The GTK Engine Unico and the Wing Panel Rewrite. Now we have the Pantheon session, so we should be able to enable our GDM manager and log into the uh, desktop environment. So uh, I'll let this uh, download and install and see what we can do. Okay, uh, let me do a list out. Okay, it's uh, xdg user dir, so you just run that xdg dash user dirs dash update. And last list out, and there's our documents and desktop folders and so on. Uh, the terminal is a mess. Um, it's looking, I think it's looking for some kind of executable file, but I just found it easier to install another terminal. So I usually use uh, XFCE4 terminal. Maybe not the best thing to be trying like this, but it, it seems to work. Uh, and also I get LeafPad. Scratch is okay, the default, but LeafPad is very, very simple to work with. Um, and I'm not sure if Plank is there yet. Whoop. <laughs> no, we don't want to do that. Uh, Plank. Oh, boy. Uh, so, as you can see here, uh, the Plank theme is installed from Pantheon Unstable. So, we want the Plank, I believe the second one, Plank.bzr. Z. See, so you remove that conflict. That's according to the documentation on this so far. Okay, uh, so let's uh, sudo system ctl enable gdm dot service and reboot. So, so when you get to the login screen, uh, just hit your username, hit this little gear icon, and choose Pantheon, and then you sign in with your uh, password and see what happens. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> we have no wing panel. I don't even know if the menu is working. I can't tell, but at least we have a couple of things. We have leaf pad. And the weird thing is, if it's not coded, I, I'm, I don't know how this works. So I'm just guessing if the whatever program is not coded with the Pantheon uh, settings, things like this, these buttons won't work. So either just control Q to quit or alt F4 to close that program. We need the uh, file manager. That would help a lot. So I'm going to alt F2. Control F2. Is that going to let me? Nope. Control F1. Control F3. There we go. Okay. So log in. 
and look for the files program. Uh, files, it might not be the right one. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, fancy on dash files. That's the file explorer dash b that are All right. Uh, contractor various uh, context menu entries. I uh, can try that. Contractor uh, BZR. Sorry. All right. And where was our desktop? <laughs> Alt F2. There it is. In doing a search, uh, I think Wing Panel is look, looking for indicators. Uh, the last time I tried this, the one that didn't work at all, I just crashed the whole p the panel, was the sound indicator, unfortunately. Um, but the date and time, uh, and the launcher, network, notifications, power, and the session itself, they, they all work. So, just download those and install, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> if you're trying this, download and install those one at a time, or in a line, whatever, and uh, good idea just to reboot and see what happens after you log in. So I'll be back with that when I'm finished with that. Okay, we're making some progress. Uh, just install the date time indicator in the applications launcher and uh, clicking on it does bring it up and that's what we have installed so far. So there's our XFCE terminal. So we have an access, access to terminal <laughs> and to a file manager and a text editor. So that's enough to get you going on uh, building uh, the Pantheon desktop environment. So for example, I just installed the indicator session and there we go. We have our session and now we can shut down, suspend, log out, lock, and so on. And I wish the sound worked, but it doesn't. The network does, uh, the indicator works, but there's no, I'm not sure why it doesn't uh open the network dialog. I know network manager has to be installed, but even with that it didn't seem to work. Okay, so I installed a web browser and he's not showing up here. <laughs> Other internet, probably a, a restart will do. Oh, by the way, if you don't want this plank configuration, just take him and he's gone. Okay, so I'll be back after another uh, restart. Alright, so after a reboot, uh, we have Chromium here and there we go. Just right click, click and keep in dock. All these names. Uh, <laughs> the control center, it's switchboard, I think. So I'll just do another search. Uh, switchboard. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe that's why I didn't get the network plugin. Okay, so we just want uh, to start with the switchboard. And again, you just have to build these. One at a time, basically. So we'll copy. But you can see the elementary OS aspects working already. So I'll just install that. And uh, either log out or restart if it doesn't show up. And yeah, there's all the stuff it does uh, suggest. Uh, the elementary tweaks comes in handy. Keyboard plugin, I'm not sure if that works. But uh, again, I'll just. Uh, install these and uh, see what we have after. Okay, so uh, that's pretty uh, much uh, so far, pretty much all you can do. Um, you can see the whatever it's called, <laughs> switchboard, uh, the control center is working. Like I said, it will, it does integrate, I think, with an older version of GNOME control center. Uh, the only thing that crashes, this will crash the uh, control center is keyboard. I'll have to look into that. I'm not really sure, but everything else seems to work. Your applications and your startup, your all settings, and they're uh, set into individual categories, I think, or maybe not. Maybe things have been replaced. Desktop, uh, you can choose your wallpaper. Uh, the only thing in VirtualBox is I'll have to resize and then uh, just resize the VirtualBox and the wallpaper kicks in. Don't ask me. I don't. I'm not sure, but it does work. Security and privacy, you know the usual stuff. 
um, power works fine and everything else and sorry about that uh, network does work I just forgot to install the plugin so if I go to here network settings it brings this up and unfortunately as I said these buttons will not work with certain applications and there's your file and we'll set that files file manager set as defaults and etc your file system so as long as you have access to that kind of stuff and it seems fairly stable um, you can build onto it to install uh, noise and audience for audio video or VLC whatever you want but uh, I think that should uh, pretty much wrap it up um, if I come across anything or is there any update I'll try to keep you posted on that so there you go uh, Arch Linux and let me just for the record <laughs> about Arch Linux 64-bit and you can see the elementary OS icon and I guess these will take you to your rele relevant uh, websites and that's it okay so I hope uh, have fun with this and uh, I hope I hope this was help helpful to you and uh, we'll talk to you soon and take care and bye for now